Hey guys, welcome back to Ask a Hawk for another week. Uh, we've got the guys playing some really good footy for us at the moment, uh, Angus Littleland. Uh, and as you all know from last week, uh, we've now got a sponsor for Hawks TV's number one show. So give a round of applause the Victorian Responsible Gambling Foundation. Thank you for jumping on board, guys. How are you, Gus? I'm going very well, Isaac. How are you? Very well. Are you looking forward to being on Hawks TV's number one show? Absolutely. Been looking forward to this for a while. It's been in the, uh, the pre-season goals and it's finally come to fruition. Yeah, well, uh, you're a very lucky man. Only few get the opportunity. So we'll, uh, we'll rip right into it. Uh, we've got Anthony. Um, sorry, Anthony, I'm not going to try and pronounce uh, your last name. But who's the funniest bloke at the club in your view? Easy answer, I would have thought. Yeah, same. Taylor Duray. Uh, All right, didn't expect that. <laughs> quick with his wit and, uh, yeah, very funny. Good to be around. Yeah, and just like uh, big Pitto, Snoz, um, we're going to get a lot of uh, talking out of Gussie today, so it should be good. Uh, we've got Tom McGeesh here. Uh, your family name originates from a town by the same name near Liverpool in England. Have you ever been there? Uh, no, I've never been to Europe. But uh, Clarko asked us to do a bit of research on our background a while ago. And uh, Litherland actually, actually means hill. Um, so it's another hill at the club. Um, but I believe the Beatles actually had their first concert in Litherland Town Hall. That's, I don't mind that. That's good. What else has uh, Litherland got? Uh, a couple of cousins in Perth. And that's about all I know. Yeah, right. So <laughs> uh, he obviously didn't do too much extensive research when Clarko asked him. Uh, we've got Mark Holland here. Uh, what's the pressure of taking one of the most famous numbers at Hawthorne like? Uh, considering I've taken over from Brian Lake, who's uh, had nothing but gags in it. Um, granted, he's played quite well. Um, I don't feel the pressure of the number too much. Um, just want to come in and play my games and uh, play my role for the team. Hopefully add a bit more, add a few more numbers to the, uh, the ones already above my head at the locker. And what an opportunity to sit next to two country blokes like myself and Segs. Yeah, it's nice on the left, not so much on the right. That's that that's segs on the right. <laughs> uh, we've got Todd. Uh, I don't know if you are or not. I think you might follow it a little bit, but are you an NBA fan? And if so, or even if not, uh, who do you think is going to win the finals? Uh, I don't follow it enough to know what's uh, all the ins and outs, but uh, watched a few of uh, Golden State's games, and I'm tipping they're going to go all right. Um, so I'm tipping Chef Curry. Chef Curry. Uh, we've got Jeffrey J. Who is the last player to put his hand in a... T Who is the last player to put his hand in his pocket when it's a shout? Billy Hartung, every day of the week. He's by far the worst. He admitted it to me the other night, actually, that he's the one ordering the expensive drinks and always goes missing when the, uh, the bill comes out. Well, I know who I'll be hitting up whenever I go out for a feed now and also... Um, I think that is the first time on this show that Paul Puopolo has not been called the tightest ass at the club. So Poppy will be very happy to know that. And I think Billy's now the new kid. Um, we've got Brett Ratton in the background carrying on like an absolute peanut here, but uh, we'll move on. Uh, we've got Lenny. Uh, what's your favourite holiday spot, Gus? Uh, my best mate lives in Cottesloe in Perth, so it's always good to get back there and see him um his backyard we call it the milk bar and we get back there every summer and have a few friends around and carry on like muppets it's good fun so i'd say codicide so ching ching just pumping up the milk bar <laughs> uh and finally we've got deb now uh i know you're a dog man um i think you're even maybe going into the dog wash business but you do have a new bernese mountain dog um its name's hendrix did you name it after Jimmy? Uh, it was actually named after a guy that was uh, two years older than me at, uh, at school. Um, I thought the name was really cool um, and it suits a big dog. So, um, yeah, we're pretty happy with it. Um, and it's, it's an easy name to pronounce when you're angry, which has been quite a bit lately. So who's going to wash it then if... Uh... Absolutely, Jordan. <laughs> I'm not touching it. Righty-o, Gus. Well, thanks for joining us on Ask a Hawk. Obviously brought to you by Victoria Responsible Gambling Foundation. Um, did you enjoy your first time on this great show? Yeah, it's uh, good to be a part of it. Good to be amongst the buzz and a uh, really happening scene right here.
Yeah, what what Gus said there, guys. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us for another week, guys. Uh, it was awesome to get the win against the Bulldogs. Uh, hopefully we can get the win against St Kilda down in Tassie this week and it'll be great to get down there and uh, get amongst the Tassie fans for the first time this year. So uh, thanks for tuning in and thank you to Victoria Responsible Gambling Foundation.